Hey guys, so today I'm showing you the process of a project that I did for Gracie, my four-year-old. So I surprised her with her own little kitchen remodel and I thought I would take you guys along that process with me. I don't have a lot of experience with wallpaper, so this was definitely like a learning curve for me. There's a lot of like tips and tricks and I would love to share that with you guys. To make it easy, I'll just put a list of everything that I used um, for this project in the description. And of course, please subscribe for lots of silly skits and projects and just goofiness. Right, Penny? Uh, yeah. So this is Gracie's play kitchen. She's had it since she was like one, so um, it's definitely well loved and well played in. <laughs> so I've been wanting to buy Gracie a mini fridge for quite a while, so I finally bought her one and I'm so excited. I think it's great for little ones to have the opportunity to um, work on their decision making skills, um, picking out their own snacks, and it makes them want to eat them more and get more excited about them, especially if they're healthy snacks. So I found this really pretty stick on wallpaper, so I'm going to be applying it to the face of the mini fridge. Wipe down whatever surface you're going to be covering and make sure that it's clean and dry. Make sure that you have an X-Acto knife and a smoothing tool for this project. You could also use like a credit card instead of the smoothing tool if you'd like. Because it's a smaller surface that I'm covering, I'm not using a level or anything. Um, I'm just measuring a piece that's a little bit bigger than the surface that I'm covering and then I applied that to make it more manageable. The smoothing tool is pretty much necessary. You can also use a credit card to get those bubbles out. You need to press gently towards the outer edges to push the bubbles away. Gently score the edges with your X-Acto knife to pull off the excess. Make sure to continue to smooth it down really well around the edges before you cut it so that everything's super secure. I repeated the same process on the fridge door as I did on the freezer door. This is just a slightly bigger piece, so I worked downwards from the top and kind of just did it little by little, working my way down. After smoothing it enough that I was satisfied, I went ahead and used my X-Acto knife again around the edges. Get rid of all that excess. And it's always my favorite part, of course, because it's so satisfying. So right here, because the wallpaper didn't reach all the way around, um, I do have to put a little bit more here on the other side. You can match it up perfectly. I didn't bother because you're really not going to see this. It's going to be turned towards her playset. I like it. But we need to fix this. This is an old play kitchen and it really needs our help. So I have plenty of extra stick on wallpaper. So that is what I'm gonna put there. Let's put a little bit right here too. Why not? That looks cute. I should have just stopped there, right? But I decided that I needed to do more. I wanted to put wallpaper on the wall just behind her kitchen to make it seem like her own separate space. For this wallpaper that I got, um, you're just supposed to wipe down the walls with warm water and a rag, so that's what I did. If you were doing a whole room, you'd wanna start out with using your level and start in the middle of the room and make a perfectly straight one before continuing. But because I'm not doing too much space, I went ahead and just lined it up with the edge of the wall, which is never perfectly straight, but it's, it's pretty forgiving right here because I'm only doing like three panels on each side. With a pattern like this, you have to line it up perfectly or it just won't look right. So if you want something really, really easy, then you can find more of a solid color or a really busy pattern where you don't have to worry about it. This one, you do have to line it up really well to have it look right. I worked my way down again from the top and slowly removed the backing as I went down so that I had more control and just lined up the bricks as well as I could. Wallpaper can slightly shrink when it's on the wall, so just barely overlap it just the tiniest little bit. So it's not quite done yet, but Gracie's coming home from school. So I want to show her what I've done so far and then I'll finish decorating it. Can open. <laughs> Do you like your flowers? Just to finish it off, I did put some molding around it. Um, I used some mounting tape so that I can remove it later on and doesn't mess up the walls. Gracie helped me fill up her mini fridge with delicious healthy snacks. <laughs> 